my name is Simone Yach, and I run a YouTube channel about science. No, that was not what I was going to say. I run a YouTube channel about robots, which is a part of science, I guess. But I am here with So What? Youth for Science, and you're going to interview me. You've prepared a lot of questions. Yes, we certainly have. Wow. Done comprehensive research, I can tell. Very yeah. scientific. Where do you get your ideas for your robots? I think I get almost all of my ideas when I get bored. So I actually tra have it as a strategy that I just get myself really bored. I'm not allowed to do anything and I just have to like lay on the couch or something. And then it's just m my brain just finds ways of entertaining itself. I mean, a lot of the ideas I get are like from an everyday problem that I have or something that I'm too lazy to do. For example, like brushing my teeth. So I'm like, there must be a better way to do this. And I just start thinking about different ways to automate this or to use technology to enhance the experience. So like how often do you actually use them? To be honest, like never. As much as I want to build up the image of me like having an alarm clock that slaps me in the face and then putting on a toothbrush helmet and then having a robot arm like serving me breakfast, I actually don't use any of them on a regular basis. They're not very user friendly and kind yeah. of painful. Uh, that kind of broken image. I thought you would actually you were actually using them. Oh, sorry. No, they're just not great. <laughs> Why do you actually start inventing? I think it's just I have very Tenacious, is that a word? Tenacious? 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 Tenacious, so. <laughs> tenacious ideas in the sense that if I get one, I just can't let it go unless I actually build it. It just won't leave me alone. So, gosh, now I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> they just won't leave me alone. <laughs> just have to build these things. The voices in my head are telling me to. No, uh, but it, so I just really try to like if I have something that I feel strongly for then I'm gonna build it and that's always the way I've gone for it like when it when I started learning or when I started inventing things that it was very like ideas first and tools later which is like I have an idea and something I really want to build and then I just have to figure out how to do it and I have to learn a lot of stuff along the way so it was never really me sitting down with like a programming book like oh let's learn C++ chapter one it was more like oh gosh I just have this thing I really want to build and then like googling my way forth trying to figure out how to do it. What would you consider the best invention ever? I think transistors. To be honest it sounds very dull uh, but transistors are basically what enables enabled us to build computers because it means that you can um, control higher voltages with very low voltages. So I, I think actually that is just like this fundamental part of our society and that a lot of people don't appreciate who aren't into electronics. What has been your greatest failure as, as per your invention? What have you hated, the thing that you've really hated that you built? I think the chopping machine is so I did a machine that chops vegetables yeah. for me. It's more I don't, I don't dislike it but it kind of freaks me out because it's just very, I remember when I was building it, I was like, I just bought these huge knives, knives, and I was like, am I sure about this? And, and that was more like, oh gosh, yeah. what have I actually done? I've created a monster kind of thing. So like, when did you decide to like start a YouTube channel? I mean, I've had my YouTube channel for a pretty long time. I just to just like upload sketches, comedy sketches in Swedish, where I was just like, eh, doing random stuff. <laughs> uh, but they were never very successful, and I just did it for fun. And then I started building these robots and I remember I was looking at like what platforms I should use. So I was like, should I do a blog about it or should I just really go for like Twitter or, but then, I mean, they just do really well in video. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's like, I can't describe in text how like a robot arm tries to serve me breakfast that just right. like kills the punchline. <laughs> uh, so it was just video was a pretty natural step. But I mean, it was never really a plan for me either for it to take, away, take off in the way that it did.